What is going on guys? Josh here bringing you guys some Dead Rising 3 gameplay and so in this gameplay basically what you're going to see is me wandering around or I wandered around in the city and me stumbling upon a gun store that I had no idea uh, it was here I just noticed it and you're going to see me like go in and like raid it and kind of like hold out in it for a while before making my escape with like the tons of new gear and stuff but anyways what this video is going to be about is my honest opinions uh, slash game review, I guess, on Dead Rising 3 for the Xbox One. So, uh, I don't, you guys obviously don't know this, but I didn't, I didn't really like Dead Rising 2 all that much. I got it for the Xbox 360 when it was a free game with gold, and I didn't really find it that fun. I never made it that far, and I never played Dead Rising 1 or K0, but Dead Rising 2 just didn't really grab me that much, I guess. Like, I hated, like, uh, how you were constricted to the mall for a long time. And you would just have to, you had like that, just that timer where you had to find that Zombrex. Like, like I said, it might get, probably gets better as the game goes on, but I never really made it past like that initial part. And there's like so many loading screens and that, like I said, that Zombrex timer is just like, I don't know, it kind of prevents you from having like that much fun, in my opinion, of course. But anyway, so, um, the, my opinions on this game make me kind of wish that uh, I delayed my Game of the Year video for 2013 and uh, played this game first before reviewing it because or before I'm uh, making that video because in that video I talked about how my first place game of the year GTA 5 second place Call of Duty Ghosts and third place Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and, but now after playing this game uh, I might be a little bit biased because I do love free free roaming games and zombies are like my favorite thing ever I mean I love the Walking Dead TV show I love the comic books um, I love like the infection mode in Halo and the infected mode in Call of Duty and so on. So um, it's just natural for me to love a zombie game. But um, even like even that aside, it's still I still feel that it's like a great game whether you whether you're like obsessed with zombies like me or not. But um, so like I said, I kind of regret making the game of the year video that early. I should have waited because this game probably beats um, Assassin's Creed 4 for me. I don't know about Call of Duty Ghosts, but it definitely comes pretty close. Like, I know there's a ton of people who probably believe this game is better quality than Call of Duty because it is Call of Duty, doesn't change, but uh, it's my opinion, and I had fun with Call of Duty Ghosts, so I'm going to keep it at second place. But um, anyway, so this is pretty much my review on the game. The game is really fun. It doesn't really have as much pressure as Dead Rising 2, which I think is actually a really good thing, where, it's, where you can actually spend time having fun, getting weapons and things like that, instead of just... Uh, like running around in the mall trying to get Zombrex as the timer like goes down at like a steady pace and things like that and um, so yeah uh, this um, this game is awesome it's really fun uh, I've been playing it like non-stop ever since I started and um, so yeah I started playing this game a couple days ago I kind of waited until after I got the Xbox one for some reason probably because I got it and I didn't really like Dead Rising 2 so I didn't have that many, or didn't have that much high hopes for Dead Rising 3 because I didn't see any gameplay of it or anything like that beforehand. But uh, now that I actually played it, I really wish I had started earlier because this game is uh, really fun. And um, do I think you guys should buy it? Uh, if you like zombies and free roam uh, games, uh, definitely. You should absolutely buy this game. This game is uh, really fun, and like I said, it probably beats my Assassin's Creed 4 for Game of the Year. And um, yeah, so I highly recommend this game. Probably one of the best games, or, or probably will be one of the best games for the Xbox One, like exclusives. But obviously it's hard to tell because the Xbox One was really recent and we still have Titanfall. And I'm sure there's a lot of other games coming out exclusive for the Xbox One. But uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's my review and I'll see you guys later.